your first act has been taking the Toronto comedy scene by storm. Uh, she's awesome. I've seen her around a bunch. Um, she has a blog called Sticky Situations. You can look it up. Please welcome Sarah Starkman! <laughs> I'm so happy to be here tonight, guys. I had the shittiest day. I had the shittiest day. Like, you know the kind of day where by 6 p.m. all you want to do is just put on a good playlist and get into a hot bath and just bleed out? <laughs> that was my day, guys. I, um, I think I'm just a little bit tedgy because I, uh, I started a new quite strict diet recently. Um, I don't, I don't know what it's called, I don't even know if it has a name, but basically, I only eat things that would be good for a diabetic if they wanted to lose their vision. So, it's been going, it's been going really well, guys. I haven't, haven't cheated once. Uh, no, it's not good, it's not good. I really, um, I really need to be more careful about the things that I eat and looking at ingredients and like the actual um, food pairings that I'm making because I don't know if you guys are familiar, but uh, in Judaism, there's lots of different uh, rules, and uh, the first rite of passage is your bar bat mitzvah, and then the second is colitis. So, <laughs> at least you get closer to God, you know? One involuntary shard at a time. <laughs> I, uh, I, I really do need to be more careful about uh, the things that I'm eating, though, because I had a bit of a health scare uh, not too long ago, it's a true story. I woke up one morning and I had this like searing pain through my left rib cage, wrapped around to my back and into my shoulder. And I started to panic because I'm a bit of a hypochondriac, but um, but I but I've been using comedy to help me with that. So I kind of just sat down and started writing my will, and um, <laughs> and then the pain just like wasn't subsiding. So I kind of just like quasi motoed my way over to the doctor, and uh, she did the exam and she looks at me and she says. Don't worry, it's just gas. It's super common. And I'm like, pretty sure it's not super common to feel like you've been shot in the shoulder by a fucking fart, okay? <laughs> That's not super common at all. I didn't get any street cred. I'm pretty sure I lost them. It wasn't a total loss of a situation though, because I, I learned a really practical life lesson and I'll impart this wisdom now onto you. Um, the, the best way to relieve trapped wind is um, not by asking your boyfriend to fuck the fart out of you. <laughs> Apparently it's not mutually beneficial, whatever. You live and you learn. I, uh, I always get weird things. I always get weird shit. Like, like last week, what did I, last week I had a yeast infection, just a casual Tuesday afternoon yeast infection. And, uh, and I decided I wanted to cure it naturally because um, I'm an idiot and uh, <laughs> I went online and the first thing I found said to uh, insert a clove of garlic. Delish. And then the second thing I found said to topically apply 2% plain yogurt. And I'm like, am I carrying a yeast infection or making fucking tzatziki? Like, what is it? I'm genuinely two ingredients away from hosting a party dip in my visionary. So this is, we don't need Greek Easter down here. This is not good. I, uh, I turned 29 recently, and uh, I don't feel older, but my perception of things is, has really changed. Like, I realized the other day that I react to someone drinking Coke the same way as I would them snorting it. <laughs> you know? I'm just like, what are you putting in your body? It's poison! I'm not, uh, not really a Coke gal. More of a more of a, a marijuana lady. Um, I, uh, I got my um, marijuana like, legal whatever card recently, and I was really jazzed about it because I didn't even realize. And I hear him get really excited and go, "She does, she does." And I turn around and I'm like, "What, babe? She does what?" And he's like, "Have mental health problems." <laughs> Like, never in his life has this man been so excited to live with somebody who suffers from anxiety and depression. <laughs> he won the fucking lottery, guys. Yeast infections and all. I, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good man. We've been together for about five years now, but we've been living together for all five years, so kind of feels like 700 years. And um, 
recently we decided that we were going to do a, a little role play. We're going to mix stuff up in the bedroom. So I went away and I thought about it. And the sexiest thing I could think for him to wear was a baby Bjorn. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like that thing you strap your kid into in the front like an orangutan? I don't know what it is. I think it's a, maybe because I live in the beaches and I always see these like sexy dills with their babies and it just like makes my uterus do the horror. Like I can't, I don't even like see my top and muzzle I don't know, I guess. So, and, and the weirdest thing is like, I'm not that crazy about kids. Like I don't even know if I want kids. I think, uh, I think, I think part of that is uh, I did myself a bit of a disservice and I, um, I YouTube natural childbirth. And I'm pretty sure I felt one of my ovaries hang itself in a fallopian tube, so I don't even know if I can have kids, but, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. I, uh, so as I said, I'm 29 and a lot of my friends are, are thinking about babies and talking about babies and I was with a girlfriend of mine recently and we were walking down the street and we saw this woman and she had four kids all under the age of 10. And I was like, holy shit. And my girlfriend goes, I know, right? So beautiful. <laughs> and I was like, that's irresponsible, is what that is. And fucking selfish, okay guys? Like, it is not 1846, okay? We are no longer birthing farmhands. Like, if you're gonna have three plus children in 2016, at least one of them better be churning butter in a fucking bonnet, okay? Like, you guys better all be staff at Black Creek Pioneer Village. That is what I'm saying. Thank you guys so much. You've been amazing. Talk a little bit about farts. Um, 